Hi, I'm Elliot Miller, and welcome to this video tutorial from the cast. In this video, we're going to briefly go over how to use OBS. We're going to look at adding different video sources, such as web cameras, and we're also going to cover how to do monitor captures, as well as combining several video sources together, and even adding images. But before we get into that, I'd like to tell you how I'm making this tutorial. It's been a bit of a tricky workaround when it comes to screen capturing. Normally, I use OBS for that. When I used XSplit, I found that right-click menus and pop-ups didn't appear in my tutorial video. When I tried to use Wirecast for screen capturing another encoder, I found there was a flicker to my screen. Now I'm using vMix. However, I had some difficulties with the audio options, so I'm using vMix to record the tutorial and Audacity to record the audio. It seems that if you want to record a screen capture, OBS is the best encoder for doing that. I'm going to stop my preview and create a new profile. This is how OBS will look on a fresh install. I have my scenes in this box here and my sources in this box on the right. I'm going to add a video source by right clicking under sources and going to video capture device and I'm going to click OK. From this drop down menu at the top I can select any uh, camera currently connected to my computer. I can also flip the image vertically and horizontally, change the opacity, change the resolution and add a chroma key as well as some other features. But for now I'm happy with how it looks so I'm going to click OK. In order to see the source I've just added I need to click preview stream and there I am. Now you can see there's this black bar around the edge of the video source. It doesn't automatically fill the screen. To do that, I'll right click on the video source and I'll go down to position and size. And I'm going to click fit to screen. And now my video source is flush with the full resolution that I would be broadcasting in. Now let's add a new scene and we'll do monitor capture this time. So I'm going to right click under scenes and click add scene. And I'm going to click OK. For this source, I'm going to go add monitor capture. And I'm going to click OK. This will let me choose any monitors currently connected to my computer. And I can choose whether I want to capture the mouse cursor or not. Once again, I can change the opacity and use a chroma key. Alternatively, I can create a subregion and select a smaller area of the monitor to capture. But for now, I'm going to leave it at this and click OK. And now we have a capture of the monitor and exactly what we're seeing. If I wanted to, I could instead add a window capture. Here I would select a program that is running on my computer and use that as my source instead. This can be useful if we just want to focus on a web page or a PowerPoint presentation and I don't want the taskbar to appear at the bottom. Now let's add another scene and in this scene we're going to have multiple sources. I'm going to right click under sources and add a video capture device. I'm going to add my Microsoft camera but this time I'm going to change the resolution and I'm going to select a 240 square resolution. This will give me a smaller version of the web camera that can take up a smaller part of the screen. You'll see though it's anchored to the top left corner. To move it I need to be in preview mode and right click on the source. Now I can change its position and size and I can move it to the bottom. 
Okay, now let's add a monitor capture behind me to fill up the rest of the screen. I'm going to go Add, Monitor Capture, and click OK. This time, I'm going to create a subregion. I can put in the resolution I want manually, or I can select the region. And I'm going to choose a region that just slightly removes the taskbar. However, you can now see that the web camera is underneath the monitor capture source. So I'm going to go to sources, right click, and go to order, and move up. Now the web camera is the top source. Great. Let's do one more and I do an image. We're going to add scene and we're going to add an image source. I'm going to browse for the file and I'm going to select the image that I want. Again, I can change the opacity if I want to and I'm going to click OK. You'll see that this is much larger resolution image than we are using in our broadcast. So I'm going to right click, go to position size and fit to screen. Remember, these options are only visible if you are in preview mode. If I want to add an image slideshow, I go to add image slideshow, click OK, and I can add several files or an entire folder. Great, now let's add some hotkeys to make it easy to switch between our scenes. I'm going to right click on scene 4 and set hotkey. And I'm going to press Alt 4. Great, now I've set a hotkey for every single one of my scenes. So if I press Alt 4, we'll jump to the image of how to use OBS. Alt 3 is the webcam and monitor source. Alt 2 is going to be just the monitor capture, and Alt 1 is my web camera. You'll notice that with scene switching in OBS, there's a slight second delay before uh, web cameras appear. I hope this tutorial has helped you to get started with OBS, and I wish you some happy streaming.